Email is definitely not what it used to be. Back in 1993, I started using email with America Online, AOL.com, if you remember them. And I mostly just connected with uh, some of my engineer type friends who actually had email accounts and could figure out how it all worked. And then as time went on, let's say by 1997 or so, I was in regular email contact with my friends, family, my parents, etc. Around 2000 or so, my school decided to get email. And perhaps your school did too around that time, depending on where you're working. And then I could contact parents, and I could contact other teachers, and administrators could contact me. But it was still pretty manageable. I wasn't getting that many emails, and I pretty much enjoyed email. Yeah, I was getting a few junk emails here and there, but eh, whatever. And then in 2012, suddenly you notice that the volume of email has gone up, and it's much higher even today. And I regularly get 70 emails or more every single day. And it's gone from something that's just enjoyable to something that really needs a process. So you have email, and email really is just a giant collection bucket. That's all it is, except you don't really have much control over this bucket. Things keep getting tossed in there whether you want them to or not. When you wake up in the morning, there's another 15 emails. At the end of the day, there's another 30 emails. It just goes on and on and on. And somehow, we have to get control over this collection bucket. Because right now, our email is just a huge, huge mess. And our inbox looks something like this. And I'll talk to people about their email and ask them, hey, how many emails do you have in your inbox? And sometimes they'll tell me 50, sometimes 100, sometimes 1,000. But I've seen as high as 10,000. So we got to ask ourselves, how do we go from this to this, an empty email box that will give you a feeling of satisfaction and happiness for the day?